All right, this is fourth grade, module four, lesson 13. We're going to be learning about triangles and, and how to analyze and classify the different kinds of triangles. And the way you can talk about a triangle is you can either look at its lengths, its side lengths, or you can look at its angles. And, um, and that's what we're going to be t talking about here. And uh, let me see. Uh, I think I'm going to make a quick slide of that. So here's that slide, and what I've got here, this guy right here, is a triangle, of course. Uh, but the thing is, I want you to notice that what's special about this triangle is uh, that all three sides are the exact same length. And so you see what I did, these little dashes here? These dashes, because I put one dash on each side length, that's my way of indicating that these three sides are all the same length, all right? Uh, what I mean by that is, in contrast, if I were to, like, take these triangles, now these triangles, you'll notice, uh, let's talk about this top triangle right here. It's got these two sides are the same, but this guy is the oddball out. So I used one dash on these two side lengths to show that these two side lengths are the same. And then I used a different number of dashes. In this case, I used two to show that uh, this line or this length is different from these other two. And in the same way, I would do that down here. I'd say, OK, one dash, one dash, two dashes to show you that these two side lengths are the same. And this is the oddball out. And then I could take out this triangle. Now this triangle, the way I drew it is I was trying to show that all three side lengths are different from each other. So the way I would show that is I would do one dash, two dashes, three dashes. And this is my way of showing that all three of these side lengths are different from each other. There are no matching side lengths. So let's go back up to this first triangle up here. Because all three side lengths are the same, uh, that makes this, it's called an equilateral triangle. So let me write this down. Equilat, that's an A, lateral, equilateral. Um, and so that's an equilateral triangle. Uh, over here, these guys, because they have two sides that are the same and one that is different, two sides that are the same and one that is different, these are called isosceles triangles. So that's I-S-O-S-C-E-L-E-S, -E -E isosceles triangles. And then uh, this guy down here, because he all three sides are different, there are no matching side lengths, that is called a scalene scalene triangle. Now I can also name these triangles by looking at their angles. So we're going to look at this equilateral triangle, but you'll also notice, and I'm going to zoom in, that because the three side lengths are the same, it also means that the three angles are the same. So I'm going to indicate that by doing angle, 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 and sometimes we do a little dash there to show that these three angles are the same length, or the same measure. These angles are the same. Now, moving over to our, right here, our isosceles triangles, we had same, same, different, same, same, different. Uh, the angles, same, it turns out, has the same kind of relationship. Um, these two angles are the same, and this is the one that's different. So the way I indicate that is I'll put a dash and a dash to say that those two angles are the same. And then I'll do two dashes to show that that is the oddball angle. So this angle and this angle are the same. And this is the oddball angle. And then I can do that same thing with this um, isosceles triangle. That these two are the same. They're matching. And this is the oddball. Now, sometimes uh, what, what textbooks will do is they'll use a different way of indicating uh, equal angles 
what they'll do is instead of, let's see if I can do this with my eraser. Can I do this? Yes, I can. Woohoo! All right, so what they'll do is instead, uh, what they'll do to show that the angles match is they'll say, okay, this one and this one match, and then they'll do like a double arc right there. That's another way of doing it. And let's see if I could go up here. I don't know if this is going to let me do this. Oh, yes, it will. Woohoo! And then what they'll do is they'll say, okay, angle and angle. Those two match, and this guy is the oddball, so they'll indicate it that way. I've seen it both ways, and so you as the teacher or as the parent, you get to decide how you're going to do it, uh, or we can choose to be consistent with Engage New York. And in the same way, we've got a scalene triangle here, and oh, I'll do it the arky way. I'll say, okay, this angle is different from this angle, which is different from this angle. So I'll, I'll do it that way. And so the fact that I'm using a different number of arcs to show is to show that these three angles are different from each other. Now, because we've just identified their, the relationship of their angles, I could give them their names. So this guy, because all three angles are the same, oh, well, no, uh, all three angles here are acute angles. So I'm going to call this an acute triangle. Now, it turns out uh, where I was going to go with this is because all three angles are the same, it automatically tells us that all three side lengths are the same. So we automatically know that it's a, um, an equilateral triangle. But because we're going to look at just the angles and we're going to say, well, since all three angles are acute, we're going to call it an acute triangle. Let's do that down here. Since all three of these angles appear to be acute, we can call that an acute triangle. Same thing here. All three of these angles appear to be acute, so let's call that an acute angle. But up here, we have something different. This guy appears to be an obtuse angle, and so that is called an obtuse triangle. So when we're calling, when we're looking at their angles, it's either called an acute triangle because all the angles are acute, or it's called an obtuse angle because it has one of these angles is obtuse. Now I'm missing one. It's the right triangle. If it's got a right angle here, that means it's called a right triangle. So let's put all of this into practice. Uh, first we're going to classify each of these triangles by their side lengths. So I'm going to look at this triangle here and it looks like to me that I've got three different side lengths. It doesn't look like we have any matches. That makes it scaling. And on this one, again, it kind of looks like I don't have any matches. It looks like this one, this one, and this one. They're all different from each other, so that makes it scaling. And now I can see here, this triangle, they've given us the dashes. The dashes are right here and right here, and there is nothing over here. So we have two side lengths that are the same, and one side length that is the oddball out, so that makes it an isosceles triangle. And then here, we've got dashes on all three sides. Dash, dash, dash. That makes it equilateral. Now let's go and look at the angles. Now because I see a right angle here, that automatically tells us we have a right triangle. And then over here, hmm. This angle right here kind of looks like an obtuse angle. So I'm going to label that an obtuse triangle. And then this triangle here, none of these angles appear to be obtuse. They all appear to be acute. And I'm doing a little bit of guessing here or estimating, so and that's okay. So I'm calling it acute. And then, automatically, you know, this is kind of a, a neat little formula or rule, I mean. 
Uh, since all three sides are the same, I know all three angles are going to be the same, which means they're all going to be acute. Uh, your, your fourth graders don't need to know this, but they're all going to be 60 degrees. And that makes this an acute triangle. A couple of word problems just to see if we can understand, uh, put all this together. So that we have the perimeter of an equilateral triangle is 15. So first thing we need to know, equilateral triangle means all three lengths are the same. And we know that the perimeter is 15, which means uh, if I add this side, oh, let's call this A, this side, let's call it B, and this side, let's call it C. If I add A plus B plus C, I'm supposed to get 15. But the thing is, all three side lengths are supposed to be the same. So what plus itself plus itself again is equal to 15? Well, that makes each side 5. 5 plus 5 plus 5 is 15. So each side length is 5 centimeters. And the last slide for this video. Can a triangle have more than one obtuse angle? Well, what's an obtuse angle? An obtuse angle is something that is bigger than 90 degrees. So let's draw something that is bigger than 90 degrees. So right here, there is our angle that is bigger than 90 degrees. Now let's see if we could draw another, uh, another angle that has more than 90 degrees. So let's do this angle right here. There's, there's another angle that is more than 90 degrees. Is there any way that if these two lines keep going, is there any way that this is going to create a triangle? Nope. In fact, no matter what shape we draw, if we try and include more than one obtuse angle, it's never going to form a triangle. And that wraps up Grade 4, Module 4, Lesson 13, where we are analyzing and classifying triangles based on the lengths of their sides and their angle measures.